The solution to the equation is the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. In order to solve the equation, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Also notice this equation contains fractions. So we need to decide whether we want to work with the fractions to isolate the variable or to first clear the fractions from the equation and then isolate the variable. In this video, we will practice clearing the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Notice how we have a denominator of nine and three, and since the least common multiple of nine and three is nine, we will clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by nine. However, if we have a hard time determining the least common denominator, we could multiply both sides of the equation by nine times three, which is 27. That would just require more simplifying later. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by nine. And now let's show each product. We have nine times two ninths x minus nine times one equals nine times two thirds x minus nine times two. For the products involving fractions, let's write nine as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we will simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice for the first product, the numerator and denominator share a common factor of nine. Simplifying, nine divided by nine simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator. Now we just have one times two x, which is two x, minus nine times one, which is nine, equals on the right. The numerator and denominator share a common factor of three. Simplifying, three divided by three simplifies the one, and nine divided by three simplifies the three. We now have three times two x, which is six x, and then minus nine times two is minus 18. Now we have an equivalent equation without fractions that we can solve. The first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable terms on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have two x on the left and six x on the right which means we can either subtract six x on both sides or subtract two x on both sides. Let's go ahead and subtract six x on both sides. Simplifying, two x minus six x is negative four x. The left side simplifies to negative four x minus nine equals, on the right, six x minus six x is zero, which is why we subtracted six x on both sides. The right side simplifies to negative 18 so adding or subtracting to isolate the variable term to undo the minus nine, we add nine to both sides. Simplifying, negative nine plus nine is zero. The left side simplifies to negative four x, which is equal to negative 18 plus nine, which is negative nine. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to solve for x or isolate the variable. Negative four x means negative four times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by negative four. Simplifying, negative four divided by itself simplifies the one, one times x is x. We have x equals negative nine divided by negative four is equal to positive nine fourths, which doesn't simplify, and therefore x equals nine fourths is the solution. This means if we substitute nine fourths for x into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. Performing the substitution for our check, we have two ninths times x, which is nine fourths, minus one equals, on the right, two thirds times nine fourths minus two. And that's to evaluate both expressions on the calculator. Notice the expression on the left and on the right are both equal to negative 0.5, or if we want negative 1 half, our solution is correct. Again, the expression on the left and the right are both equal to negative 1 half, which is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.